there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, cleaning jar for your oil paints. And this is Lindsay from the Frugal Crafter. I did it again. I started off my video without saying who I was. Oh, weird. Just weird. Okay, so odorless mineral spirits is what I prefer to clean my oil painting brushes with when I'm using traditional oil paints. And um, I don't like to waste it. So I'm using a mason jar here. This is just um, from a jar of spaghetti sauce that I washed out. And you're going to need something that's going to help you get the paint from your brush. And I'm using some aluminum gutter screen. You can also use aluminum window screen. You want something that's not going to rust. And you can see this was 99 cents for a 20 foot roll. So it's not very expensive. And the brush cleaning, you can buy, you know, brush cleaners that have like a metal thing to, you know, clean your brushes against, but they're expensive. My tin snip's not going to work for that. Let me get, oh yeah, I probably shouldn't use these, but starting off so good today. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just cut off a little strip of this. I'd say it's about four inches wide with my tin snips. So when you, um, when you brush your bristles across, this is going to help knock the paint out. And it's also going to keep the paint sludge all the way to the bottom of your jar. So you'll have nice clean mineral spirits up top to clean your brushes with. And then another thing I do is I'll keep another one of these um, so that when it gets really sludgy, I can pour off the good stuff and then remove a screen and just kind of scoop out the nasty stuff and, and, you know, put it in a bag and throw it away. And then I'm not dumping. I don't have to dump out all of the mineral spirits into a can be thrown away, which is, you know, wasteful and bad for the environment. Um, I just need to get rid of the sludge and that can even just dry out and be tossed away. So I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know about that so you can, you know, do your art with the least amount of damage to your pocketbook and to the environment. All right. So what I'm doing is just kind of, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. No, you don't have to worry about it being really pretty. I just want to basically make kind of a shelf of knitting that I can fit into my jar. And you might want to wear gloves, you know, to do this, just so you don't cut yourself up. It's a little powder coat or something on there. And then I'm just going to guide that down. I might use my tin snips for that. Just kind of guide it down. It does not have to be perfect. You just need something that you can, um, that's going to keep the mineral spirits, keep your area to clean a little bit higher than the bottom of the jar. So then you're going to pour in your mineral spirits, which hopefully I can get this childproof container open. If not, I'm going to have to, uh, let's see, what do we do? We squeeze, do we squeeze and turn? I think we squeeze and turn here, folks. Squeeze and turn. There we go. I can open a childproof cap. How amazing is that? All right, I'm going to fill this jar about halfway. Mmm, odorless. Now, just because it's odorless doesn't mean it's not dangerous. You shouldn't leave it open for long periods of time. Um, it actually does have a little bit of an odor, which I like that it's got a little bit of an odor because I have some Gamzol, which has no odor. It's like freakily no odor. And I'm always afraid that, you know, somebody's going to come by and drink it. So let me just put the cap on here. And I prefer a metal cap. You could use a coffee can or something too, but I just, I feel a little more secure having a metal cap there. Um, and if you, gosh, I wish I could turn. Maybe I can. Maybe I can turn, hold the camera. I have this camera harnessed in something here, but, um... You can see that the that the screens on the bottom, so that when I rub my brush, when I go to wash my brush, do I have an oil painting brush? Hold on, let me pause this and get an oil painting brush. Yeah, one of my meticulously taken care of. But this one hasn't been sitting in a in a bucket of paint thinner before. I got the half the label come off there, half the paint is on there. But then when you go to clean your brush, you're gonna rub your brush against the uh, the screen there, and that's gonna knock away all the loose paint, which will fall at the bottom of the screen and then you'll have a nice clean brush. You can just wipe it off with a rag and continue painting. Um, when you're done for the entire day, you can wa finish washing it out with soap and water and um, your brushes will stay as good as new. So hopefully you don't leave it. Then there's no reason to leave it soaking in there because you can brush it against the screen so you won't have the, uh, you know, paint flaking off. Actually, I probably, maybe I used that for acrylics once and then stuck it in a bucket of water because that's, that's horrible looking. But you know how to properly clean your brushes and you've made this for next to nothing. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please share it with your friends on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, wherever. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. And um, if you're looking for help, if you are starting your own handmade business and you're looking for help um, marketing it, check out richmombusiness.com. They're my sponsor this month here at the Frugal Crafter. They have a free three video handmade training course at freehandmadetraining.com. There's a link in the video description. Go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.